Hello YouTube. In this video I want to talk about uh, when you should consider using hairspray on your uh, glass bed and what some of the benefits are. First I want to start off saying I recommend you start off printing on uh, just clean glass. What that will do is it will teach you how to level your bed and how, how to get that first layer um, pretty much perfect and dialed in. After that um, when the bed cools your print will just come right off when your printer is done. You don't have to chisel it off or anything like that. Um, so I highly recommend you start off printing on glass. Now I'm using a hatch box and uh, this particular one's black and my nozzle temperature is usually anywhere from 195 to 210. I, I kind of still trying to get a feel for what I like on that. And uh, But my bed temperature I usually leave at uh, 60 degrees. So when you're printing on pure, pure glass you need to let it uh, you should let it warm up. You do preheat PLA and let that bed warm up for about five minutes before you start your print. And it, it's because it takes a while for that glass to heat up. So if you're just printing in a small area in the, pretty much the center of your glass, like a small print, printing on glass clean is, is just fine. But you'll notice that if you go to print on a large print that's going to cover out towards the edges, you're going to have issues if you print on glass unless you have a, a different um, you know a different kind of a heated bed because the heated beds kind of hit heat from the center outwards so it'll be um, the sensor is in the middle and your middle temperature will be what you're dialed in at like 60 it will climb close to it and as you move out it keeps getting cooler and cooler in fact the corners aren't even heated up because there's no heating element under there um, so if you have a large print you're going to be dealing with the uneven heating and what will happen the reason why you heat your bread when you print on glass is so you get a nice stick to it and then as it cools um, it'll actually pop off when you're done printing and it cools to room temperature um, so if you're going to print a large print on there um, and you have uneven heating which you'll have if you just have a stock bed um, that's where the hairspray comes in mind or comes in play what I like to use binder clips. I don't like the binder clips because you go watch out, your head's going to hit them. But it's easy. All I do is take the clips off, and you can take the glass plate off, and it shouldn't disturb your level. Um, and then at that point, you'd want to spray a pretty thick uh, layer, not too thick, not too thin, uh, just a medium good spray layer. If I use Aquanet hairspray on your glass bed, um, then you can just put it back on and then hit preheat. And I'll kind of cook it on. Now, one of the things I've noticed is um, by having that hairspray on there, uh, it works just like it, it prints on uh, glass, except you get a little bit harder stick, um, and it'll just just a little bit harder to get off um, when the print's cool, but it's still easy to get off. But one benefit is, is I use my heat gun. Let me show you. Here. You got one of these. Uh, heat gun so I test heat stuff out and uh, I notice that the temperature of the bed gets closer to um, 60 if not hitting 60 when I have the hairspray on to where with my pure glass it usually heats up to like 54 when I have it set to 60 so I think the heat or the hairspray being on there um, causes it to uh, heat the glass easier let's see um, that's about Trying to think of some other benefits there. Um, oh, just in the fact that because of that and the extra sticking, when you get your prints out towards the edge, uh, you don't have to worry about your print popping off. If you didn't use hairspray and you had a large print and a standard bed, what will happen is as you're printing, um, you'll get like halfway through and there's a good chance that your print will pop off. Since I've used the hairspray, it won't. Um, it doesn't print off, pop off on larger prints and also you can just leave it on there if you ever want to take it off you just use you know wash soap, some soap and water maybe some uh, alcohol to clean it up real good um, but I've put it on there and I've been just printing it on there leaving it on there and it kind of makes a nice coating on there and uh, I'm pretty well pleased on there's no need for me to take it off um, and it works just like uh, printing on glass so anyway so if you're going to do a large print that's my recommendation uh, you put some hairspray on there. I don't recommend you spray it while it's on the printer although I have done that but you shouldn't do that because you get spray on your parts and stuff and it's not good. Um, 
So take the glass off and don't follow my, <laughs> don't do it the way I've done it. Take the glass off and spray the hairspray away from the printer and then when it's a little bit dry you can bring it back to the printer. Um, that being said I have sprayed it while it's on there. Usually I'll take like a piece of cardboard or something kind of shield it a little bit and spray it on there if I'm lazy. Um, but you shouldn't do that. Anyways, I hope this uh, video helps you out and gives you some ideas as to when hairspray is a, a handy alternative to just printing on glass and when you could use it and what the benefits are of it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. Thank you for watching.